So I have to ask you about this Fauci story. So of all the things that people criticize Fauci for, the one that enraged the Washington Post most is when a nonprofit organization demonstrated that Fauci had supported cruel and probably scientifically pointless experiments on dogs, and the Washington Post promptly attacked the group that exposed this. Why would the Post be so quick to defend cruel ex and needless experiments on beagle puppies? Here's the bizarre thing about this, Tucker. So there's this animal rights group that has done an ingenious strategy called the White Coast Waste Project. Of, they have joined the left and the right in Congress by fusing the cause of animal rights and dog cruelty to wasteful taxpayer government expenditures by saying that yes. the government and is using our taxpayer dollars to fund medically unnecessary, gruesome experiments. They have been denouncing this for years. They have been praised by the Washington Post from 2016 through 2020 as a one of the rare success stories in Washington of a bipartisan coalition. Suddenly, they prepared a hit piece on them. Why? Because the now the focus of the activism is the fact that these experiments, which are not just gruesome but totally unnecessary is being overseen by agencies controlled by Dr. Fauci and funded by Dr. Fauci and the Washington Post is willing to protect the government and these gruesome experiments all to prevent any criticism from being attacked uh, attached to Anthony Fauci. It is a complete abuse of journalism to attack this small nonprofit group that has a great cause simply because their work might reflect on someone who's now an icon of liberal journalism. Man, that's the, that is the depth of corruption right there. But you're right. It's counterproductive because they've certainly won my support and I think of many people listening tonight. Glenn Greenwald, great to see you as it always is.